What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders, college graduates, entrepreneurs, hustlers, anybody trying to make something out of nothing. Uh, I just wanted to do a real quick reminder to all you beginner investors and traders. Make sure that you take pictures of your uh, portfolios, uh, your shares, your average cost, uh, you know, the price that you bought your... uh, option calls or puts in, you know, uh, depending on your strike price, your break even price, that is, you know, make sure that you take pictures of those things because I have seen Robin Hood move up uh, break even prices several times. Uh, And this just happened with uh, my party city uh, contracts uh, I happened to make these, uh, I bought these party city contracts months ago, almost a year ago. And that's because of party city's balance sheets. I mean, their revenue is constantly coming in. And now with this digital market coming into play, I think that party city will definitely make a lot more money. You always got, you know, graduations and parties and gatherings and get togethers and, it's, and, and, and and with the metaverse, I believe that it will have, you know, its own, like just imagine how much space that Party City could take up in the metaverse. You know, that's just my opinion. So I think that Party City will definitely be uh, jumping in the future. I didn't think that before, about a year and a half ago, I was buying puts on Party City. I was literally thinking that Party City was going to go the way of the dinosaurs, but that did not happen. And then I started doing a lot more research and then I came to find out that they're actually, you know, making more money than people think. So, you know, I wanted to just bring that to light real quick about making sure you take pictures of your portfolios, because with all this shady shit going on with these brokerages and with the SEC, the SEC and everybody else is just. In my opinion, everything that they're doing is to bury the investor like it's to is to keep continue to rob the, 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 you know, retail. And I, I just, you know, feel like it's my job if I happen to see something to relay this message to other beginner investors and traders and other investors that, you know, as well, that 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 may not have been paying attention to it. And I've seen them do this several times. And the minute that I ended up taking a picture of my contracts and my portfolio and I started to do the video, that's when they instantly changed my option calls. Like and then it, and it, they jumped up. As you can see, I got two for January 2024 and I have four call options for January 2024. And before I did this video, it was on like five hundred dollars. And I literally was going through my portfolio for five or 10 minutes and it never corrected until I took a picture of it to do the video. And then it instantly corrected. That lets me know that they even have access to our data and how we choose to use it, when we're about to use it, how, you know, possibly how we're about to use it, you know, and I think that once they once once I did that, it might have went through some type of algorithm real quick and they instantly tried to correct it because they know I got my own channel and they know I can just go to the channel and air their ass out. You know what I'm saying? So please be careful and watch out for your portfolios. I ended up selling two contracts yesterday, which was stupid, but I did it because those contracts were for January 2023. So, you know, which, like I said, was foolish. I should have kept them. I'd probably be up another three, four hundred dollars. But it's all right. You know, um, I made a couple plays for 2024 and I really do believe that uh, it's going to jump, man. Matter of fact, I'm probably about to sell a hundred dollars worth of Party City because I think it could come back down to two bucks and then I just buy a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, that's how I've been doing it, man. As you can see, the buying power is stacked, waiting for deployment. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just waiting for this market to come back down again because that's what's about to happen. We're about to see this big dump. And when we see this big dump, that's when we're going to see 
the market explode in a year, six months, a year, maybe even two, and spy all that. It's going to be, I mean, because a lot of these tech companies are just revving up. A lot of these new companies are revving up. I mean, I got my eyes on Amazon, you know, uh, still got my eyes on um, GME. I'm just waiting for it to drop back under 35 bucks. You know, I'm waiting for Square to drop back under 60 bucks. You know, um, I've been getting deeper in the NNDM because I really do believe what they do, you know, will be uh, needed or used in the future. So, you know, uh, I'm just still really just being patient, you know, trying to make the best decisions based on how I've seen the market fluctuate and, you know, the patterns and, you know, everything like that. So, you know, personally, I really do believe that the market is going to take one more dump, just looking at all the patterns and, you know, in a year, man, we could see highs that people have never seen before. So please, man, once again, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investing guru. Uh, so make sure you have, uh, have your own due diligence and make sure you pay attention. Take pictures of your portfolio, save them, store them somewhere where you, in a in a document, a doc where you know that all that stuff is so that you have proof where you can have receipts and show that the market and everything that's going on with these brokerages are to affect it's to affect retail. It's it, and I mean it's not for, you know, it's not to help us. You know what I mean? It's definitely to put us in positions where they can take some of that money that they got, you know, that they gave away last year. You know, so that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? How you feel? Let me know how you feel about that. What do you think about AMC and GME? I think after this uh this this split cuz that's what it is with AMC, I think we'll see AMC go lower. Uh I do believe people will jump back in pushing it back up to 14, 15 bucks, maybe 17 bucks. But that's pretty much it. I really do believe that these YouTube content creators are out there lying because they're like they actually have millions of shares of AMC or a million shares of AMC to trade. And, you know, like I said, um, this could all just be a psychological game and uh, uh, a Ponzi. You know what I'm saying? So just be careful, man, and, and, and really look inside yourself and, and see, you know, and make the decisions what's best for you and your family, man. Don't get caught up in all this uh, ape game stuff, ape game stuff and diamond hands and all that other shit. I'm out of here, y'all. I ain't going to keep rambling. Tell me what y'all feel at the bottom. But I am going, I'm trying to grab at least four or 500 more shares of GME. That's my, that's my opinion. You know, that's how I feel. Now, nah, because I'm still on GME, but, you know, at the moment, how I feel about AMC, you're going down.